Hi, this is Ashlyn with Bellevue Avenue, and I'm going to show you how to use our fireworks overlays. So it's really simple. All you have to do is go to File, Place, and open up your fireworks folder. And then just kind of peruse through and look at which fireworks you think are interesting for your image. I'm going to go ahead and select this first one here, and then click Place. Click the check mark and then change the blend mode to screen. These are a little bit small for this image, so I'm going to click Control T and then resize it and kind of turn it a little bit. And then I'm going to add a few more over here. So let's go ahead and choose a firework that is by itself kind of isolated. Okay, let's do this nice big one right here. Change the blend mode to screen and then I'm going to resize that and kind of twist it this way. And then we'll add one more right here in the middle and don't worry about these little strands right here. We're going to brush those off in a minute. So file, place, and let's do these two right here. Change the blend mode to screen and we're going to add those kind of near the top. Actually, since we already have red and blue, let's let's try a green one. See if we can find a green one in there that we can use. I see this green one, but I want to see if I see a few here. Maybe that one. That one looks interesting. Place. I'm going to change the blend mode to screen first this time. And let's just leave it like that and click the check mark to place it. Now to brush some of these fireworks off of the umbrella and our subjects. We're going to select all of the overlays and then click Control G to group them. We're going to add a layer mask and then we're going to select a soft black brush at 100% and just start brushing. Actually, let's leave that little part kind of shooting up right there. And then brush it off of his shirt and brush it off of the umbrella. And there you go, and that's all there is to it. So let's look at a before and after. Before and after. Thanks so much for joining me and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.